Tapway is started uh, with the aim to revolutionize offline businesses with online tools. So one of the big gaps that we saw in the offline businesses is how the businesses are not leveraging on data to help improve their businesses and they are instead leveraging on their gut feelings and instincts to do business which is not really the way to go. My name is Ji Hao. Uh, I'm the CEO of Tapway, Sandra Berhad, and I built the company in 2013 together with my partner Justin, and it's later joined by Edwin. How I got into the idea is from my personal experience, really on uh, how Amazon or other e-commerce is so good at recognizing your what you like, what you want, and then recommending you things that you like instantly in real time on the website. But when you go to an offline store, if you go to a cafe or a music store that you always frequent, um, the, the staff don't really recognize you. They couldn't recommend you things that are personalized to you. So we see that as a gap uh, to fill, and that's why we started the business. We started the revolution by really fusing two of the main trends in the industry. Uh, one of them is IoT. IoT is Internet of Things. It's basically where you put sensors uh, in offline places or in physical spaces uh, to grab data about certain aspects of the business, um, such as footfall, uh, number of people going into the store, and how long they stay, where are the hot zones. And that's how we are using this data to help the businesses to understand better their shopper interaction, their shopper engagement and shopper loyalty. For ICON, it is a fund that is designed for startups in terms of content development. So it helps us to basically develop uh, our website and our platform with the funding and the advice uh, from MDEC. What we do in our industry, it's basically getting a huge volume of data, processing it and turning it into actionable insights that can help improve the business. I think with all the cloud services, there are a few components that we normally do to monetize the business. Uh, number one is charging a cloud subscription fee for our software. And the second part is actually consulting, so providing consulting services. Uh, data is nothing unless you can actually gain something from it. For the small businesses or startups who want to start a business in big data analytics, my advice is that the industry is, of, is not mature yet and there's a long road ahead. So, of course, be patient, don't give up and always find your way around, but focus more on the values that you can drive the business or the customers.